Hello again, everyone. Why do I always wave like this? Why is it always sideways? Who waves like that? Just started. <laughs> Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to A Little Catholic Boost, a daily reflection on the readings for Mass. Thank you so much for being here. I truly feel blessed to have you, and I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to pray with me. Our meditation is rooted in the Gospel reading for today, which is from the Gospel of Matthew. I mean, it's the Our Father. <laughs> What else is there to say about it? One of the most sacred and precious prayers that we say as Christians, given to us directly from the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ. What do you say? What is there to say? <laughs> I was reading and rereading the scripture verse over and over and over again, and I just I couldn't find words. And so I went to the catechism and there's so much there because it's just such a full, amazing prayer. So for the sake of time, I'm just going to focus on one teeny tiny little nugget of this amazing and beautiful prayer. And that's the Father element of the Our Father. So first things first, I just want to take a moment to let it sink into you that the Lord, the creator of the universe, the beginning, the end, all that is true, all that is good, all that is beautiful, desires for us to call him Father. Just take one moment to really think about that for a second. The amount of love there is incomprehensible to me. What an intimate relationship for our Lord to desire with us, for us to call him Father. How much he wants to love us is amazing. What does it mean to be called a Father? Well, a Father is a life giver. And in the same vein, our Lord gives us life. He is the source of all life for us. Calling God our Father in this prayer in particular, the Catechism writes a lot about how it ought to bring out and develop two dispositions within us. The first disposition is the desire to be like him. A lot of us are fortunate enough to have a father or a father figure in our lives to whom we look up to and we want to impress, we want to be just like them. The same is true for God the Father. We want to make our dad proud. We want to grow up to be just like him. St. Cyprian writes about how when we call God our Father, we ought to then behave as sons of God. So calling him our Father kind of puts us back in check of what our goal is, who we want to be like, what we are striving for. That's what that should invoke in us when we say this prayer. The second disposition is a humble and trusting heart. Calling God our Father reminds us that we are small and naive and fragile in the eyes and in the arms of our Lord. We are children. So calling God our Father is appealing to his authority as him being above us and him being wiser than we are. And again, this also ought to make us trust in him even more. You know, the old adage that dad knows best you know like in it's a wonderful life when you see that sign on the door that's like ask dad he knows it invokes a trusting in wisdom that we ought to seek in our lord but in being children we also need to remember that we are his children which means that we are enveloped in a unique and special way very deeply into his love and into his heart so today i encourage all of you to Pray the Our Father. Pray it intentionally. And pray it thinking about disposing your heart to your Heavenly Father. That is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please make sure that if you liked this video, you hit that like button. Comment down below. I'm definitely going to read it. And hit the notification bell. And hit me up on Instagram and do all of those things. But most importantly, I pray that you guys have a wonderful day. May God bless you. And may we all ever grow in love with our Lord. Bye. Er, sorry. And the First of all, I just want to take a moment to appreciate the fact that I can't remember what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start over. Hey.